I mean, this is a very in your face, like, yes, this car is boosted. All right, so I'm very excited to show, wow. That's, that's sick. I'm very excited to show uh, what is right here. And this is the first time I'm showing it online because I've talked about boosting this car. And the reason why the supercharger hasn't been here is because I actually dropped it off with uh, Kenneth and uh, we got it polished, mirror polish. That is so cool. So uh, this is something that you you kind of do a lot, you know, it takes a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I mentioned this to him. You've done a few polished uh, Whipples and Eaton's and some other mm -hmm. stuff. And I was like, man, this is so cool. So I sent this over to him. Uh, I'm sure you have some before photos and some after. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, it came out awesome. This is what's going to be going on uh, the Coyote Swap car right here. We also did uh, the bracket, too. So, and if you don't know, Kenneth also does uh, the KMJ alternators, which are very common for 0304 Cobras. And the bracket looks awesome. Uh, so those two pieces end up going right here on the front. It'll be very nice and shiny. Gonna probably have to clean this up again. It was clean, but you know, you know how it goes. So, uh, you guys did a video on polishing this. Yes. So, uh, their channel is Awesome Finished with Blake. Uh, Blake actually filmed a video with me uh, on the Terminator Cobra Coyote Swapped. And uh, yeah, so definitely go check out their channel. And uh, you guys also do, you know, you do a little bit of this, right? Is this something you still want to offer as a service? Oh, polishing? Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, um, I think it came out awesome. And. Uh, Lewis actually just dropped his uh, F1A blower off uh, and he's getting the exact same treatment. So uh, then I guess we'll see you in uh, probably about two weeks. Yep, about two weeks. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. I think that's gonna really, really pull together this engine bay after we kind of clean some things up. Uh, we've been doing a lot of the wiring. Uh, Brad got the PCM uh, mounted up there. But yeah, the Pro Charger is gonna sit right in this area and I'm very, very excited to see and hear it and all of the above. Yeah, let's check out your Cobra. Oh, okay. Because you brought your Cobra here <laughs> and I'm sure everybody would love to see a Screaming Yellow Terminator, a real one, not like that fake one over there. <laughs> so, Screaming Yellow Terminator, um, I think you just need to show off the engine bay. The engine bay looks yeah. awesome. Uh, these are the XXR wheels, right? Yes. I love these wheels on here. They look awesome. And speaking of polished, that looks amazing. Is it a three liter Whipple? Yes. Yeah, three liter Whipple, polished, and uh, yeah. A little dusty from the trip. Yeah, no, it looks awesome. Everything gets dusty as it goes down this dirt driveway. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's awesome. That, that blower right there, we actually, it was like the first one we did on the channel. Uh, and it's on the YouTube channel too, that exact blower. So you can, can check that out. Oh yeah. On awesome finish. The, the yeah, it's awesome. 04 Cobra, dark charcoal seats. I think that's what they're called, right? Yes. So, awesome. I've always liked this on your car, the uh, American flag going down the, the roof. I didn't care for it when I first got the car, but it's kind of grown on me. A lot of people like it. Yeah. Your car is a solid axle swap too, right? Yes. Yep. So is mine now. <laughs> yeah, we both ditched the, uh, the IRS. Well, in my that defense, one. I bought the car with that already in there, so I, I probably would have left the IRS this time. But yeah. It, it is what it is. No, the car looks great. I saw you posted for sale the other day, and I was getting a little, a little worried. <laughs> Just, it, you know problems you know typical problems and I've had the engine out three times in the last year and I just was tired of it but you know I took a step back and you know some people reached out to me and told me what it, you know the problems it could be and, and I think they're right so I'm gonna I'm gonna change the studs in it like they said to do and hopefully that'll fix the uh, the issue oh yeah awesome dude 
Hey guys, before we get too far in the video, I want to remind you that we have everything on sale on the website for merch. Uh, we got a lot in stock and the website is only going to allow us to sell what we have in stock. So everything is here ready to ship. I work all day out in the shop and then come in here and then ship orders for you guys. If you guys want to shout out as well uh, when you check out, just leave an order note and uh, I will shout you out in the next video. But we have a lot of different shirts still left. So definitely head down in the description, mustanglifestyle.net, pick something up. Uh, T-shirts start at $15 um, and the shipping is uh, only a few dollars. So uh, definitely go pick something up. We have the key tags, we have sweatshirts and all sorts of stuff. So definitely go head over there. All right, so we got the polished bracket on. I think we're about ready to put the Pro Charger in. Looks really good. So, we gotta see where the charge pipes are gonna go and uh, make sure the belt system is gonna work. But, uh, yeah. The belt system, I think, is gonna be fine. My biggest concern is where that's the charge gonna pipe be pushing out. And if it's here, it shouldn't be that bad to just cut a hole in it, run everything through there. Should be easy after that. All right, so we've had a couple weeks of gap in working on the Procharged Coyote swap in the high school Mustang, but uh, we are gonna work on it a bit today. And uh, we actually have uh, the Pro Charger. You guys saw that in the last clip. Uh, we're gonna probably try to mount this up. Uh, we already did actually have to put it in place and we had to, um, move the housing and we kind of had to figure out where we're gonna kind of drill a hole here for the charge pipe uh, because it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to run the charge pipe down and around like a typical pro charger pro charger on the new edges looks like we're gonna kind of mimic what that side is like on this side Brad is actually in here he is running the battery relocation wire through the car I also got a new set of Mach 1 rear seats to match the Mach 1 front seats, so I'm really excited about that. Picked these up from a friend, Rob. Uh, we picked them up at NMRA. They look really, really good. Got a really good deal on these two. So, yeah, we got the battery relocation, and then hopefully we can uh, get the Pro Charger mounted up today. Maybe uh, blast some holes in the side here and uh, see how far we can make it. Well, Brad, I got distracted yesterday. A little bit. What are we doing here? Um, I'm attempting to fabricate some brackets so that we can mount the ginormous Pro Charger intercooler to the front of a car that it wasn't supposed to go on. So, over here, we have the front end, and uh, Brad cut out a good portion of the header panel. But, the intercooler fits now. Before, we could only get it to about here. So we're cutting everything out. We can now get it mounted where we need it to up in this position. Very nice. And then I think we can still use the grill thing too, so. Yep, I might need to trim a little bit on the back of it, but nowhere near as much as what I had to do to the header panel. Yeah, so when the bumper's on, you won't even know that there's any difference. Yeah. Size the big ass intercooler. You're like, ooh, what's that shiny thing in there? I think it, it looked good until that one. <laughs> Not terrible. Work in progress. I mean, honestly, for somebody who doesn't weld very often, I don't think I'm doing that bad of a job. Yeah, I think this is the fourth time. Yeah. Cobra's a little iffy, but I think I did enough goobers on there to hold it all together. The past tech, that's what matters. Well, this is one thing I didn't really think of originally when we uh, went forward with the S550 Pro Charger is how big that intercooler is going to be showing through the front bumper. I didn't realize that it would be showing through the grill. Yeah, it's 
it's definitely tall. I mean, it's it's a different take, especially with a different body style of these cars. You only ever see them down on the bottom, so to see it up in the grill is kind of unique. Yeah, definitely a a look to get used to. I mean, the upper grill portion will be there. Um, in terms of functionality, it should be more than functioning and that was kind of the whole goal is having this large uh, surface area able to cool um, this because typically a pro charger p1sc on these cars you know you make like 400 wheel horsepower with a stock two valve or four valve and that's what you know those intercoolers are efficient at this one was made to make eight nine hundred horsepower so with us making 650 it should help keep things cool yeah, I don't know how I feel about it sticking up through the grill, but I mean, we're still gonna send it. And we can always paint it black. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this is a very in your face, like, yes, this car is boosted, so. <laughs> it is. Yeah, there's no like subtle, like, ah, it might be boosted. No, it is. It, it definitely gives it away. Brad, hold it right there. Gotta get the shot. I think with the grill portion there and the pony, it actually looks really good. It, it definitely hides a little bit of how tall the intercooler is. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm kind of digging that look now. I, I think it looks pretty good with the, uh, the grill and the pony. So I think, I think we can work with that.